Hello, I'm uh, Maria Kokinou, architect from Greece, from uh, the office uh, Kokinou Kourkoulas and Associates. We will present uh, an office building which is the first um, to be awarded with a Golden Lead uh, certification in Greece. Um, I will uh, speak first just uh, to describe the architectural idea of the building and then El Pagal, who is uh, uh, a landscape architect, will uh, continue to elaborate on the green roof. Uh, the immense uh, urbanization of the contemporary cities introduces a completely new balance between building and landscape. The collaboration of our office with Ailey the last uh, decade um, focuses on discovering new strategies of expressing this equilibrium. Our efforts is to make landscape part of the architecture of the building and building part of the landscape. Green roofs and open spaces accept the climatic benefits they offer, which are very important, they should at the same time be an organic factor for the building and its inhabitants. Buildings are not static objects, but are interactive organisms. Uh, before um, uh, describing the, the Peania office building, we will show you another project we did with uh, Ailey some years ago, which is an office building uh, situated at Piraeus Avenue. Piraeus Avenue is um, a big avenue connecting Athens to Piraeus, uh, Piraeus which, is, which is the harbor of, uh, of Athens. It's a very crowded road. And um, we decided when we started working on the project to put the office building at the back of the plot, which means far away from the avenue, and at the front put uh, a one-story commercial uh, part of the whole complex, which on top of it, it had uh, a green roof. And we decided to do that so to take uh, the office building far away from the noise of the, of the road, and at the same time, the office building would benefit from the roof garden that was uh, on the one floor building. And this is the, um, with what we ended up. The, the curve of the building um, enables the employees to look at the garden and uh, the transparency on the ground floor connects the inside to the outside. And at the same time, all the employees can uh, use this terrace during the break, the lunch break. You can imagine that this is in the middle of Athens. It's not... Uh... Now we will concentrate on uh, the Peania office building, which is a three-story building situated on uh, Atikiovos. Atikiovos is the main road connecting Athens to the airport. For the Greek standards, this building is a big one. It's around 60,000 square meters. But with what we've seen here, maybe it's small. Um, it has, uh, it's uh, one kilometer long. And that's why we decided to use uh, the idea of the wooden meter that breaks into units in order to make, to facilitate the communication in the building and make it more interesting. One of the buildings has a very big um, atrium. Um, being uh, so close to the airport from uh, the beginning, we thought that uh, the terrace should be the fifth uh, facade of uh, the whole construction. Having a gr uh, green roof so it was not only important for the employees, but it was important um, for the view from the plane, and we wanted the whole building to be part of the landscape. 
Um, in order to provoke the employees to use the terrace, we put the um, cafes at the third floor and uh, we try to have a section with a view towards the terrace in order to make it more attractive and be of more use. Because that's what we believe, that a green terrace should be part of the building. It shouldn't be just part of the city and the, um, the landscape. Our intention is to transform green roofs from just uh, adding more green to important functional spaces for the people who are living in the, in the building. Um, our main concern was to build a sustainable building with respect to nature and at the same time provide top quality working environment. Part of this idea was to use friendly environmental friendly materials and provide working conditions with quality for the employees. Natural uh, quality for the employees means natural life, natural ventilation and view. This led to narrow plans and transparency. Transparency in Greece means protection from the sun at the same time. So we decided to use movable louvers in order to protect the whole building from the sun. Movable louvers are crucial interface between inside and outside that makes the building breathe and breathe makes the building alive. Now Ellie will come to explain to you the whole idea about the green roof. Hello, um, my name is Eli Pangala, I'm a landscape architect. We're working with uh, Coquino Curcula's architectural office for 10 years now. And uh, as uh, Maria previously said, our aim is to work with landscape and building as a holistic unity. So the Peania office building was a very challenging project not only because of the developer and the client's requirements, but because we had to make sure that we, it would be green design and construction. So um, we had to follow certain lead requirements in order to achieve that. The goal was to create a sustainable new landscape that would be pleasing, that would have uh, um, recreational uses and at the same time we'll have uh, interesting seasonal changes, sensory qualities as a, such as smell and texture and um, as I mentioned before seasonality. Initially in this area there were olive groves so we, we had an agricultural landscape. What we did is that we removed the olive trees, we pruned them and maintained them in order to be reused again in the landscape uh, project. Um, seasonal changes and evolving landscape are key elements to this design. Together with the olive trees, we have used some uh, deciduous mulberry trees in order to demonstrate seasonal quantities and underneath um, these trees, we have used evergreen shrubs typical of the Mediterranean Maquis. As you will see in uh, this conceptual diagram, the intention was to repeat the linearity that we initially found in the agricultural landscape. You can see how the linear groves of olive groves or orchard trees are repeated in the landscape. And uh, what was interesting, um, in order to have some more recreational uses for the employees, for the users of the building, we came up with the idea of um, um, remaking a Mediterranean maquis landscape 
and at the same time give some uses such as a running track so that the people in the building can have some free time either strolling in the green roof or even exercise. So the linearity of the agricultural landscape and the linearity of the planting scheme um, posed an interesting challenge with a curv curvilinear running track. Um, our aim was to invite people to use it. So as Maria previously mentioned, this is the fifth facade of the building. And uh, one of the ideas was to demonstrate how rich the Greek flora is and use some uh, xero-aromatic plants, such as oregano, rosemary, lavender, etc. We have also um, used some uh, paspalum grass in order to fulfill one of the client's uh, demands to have an open space in order to throw parties or for people to congregate. As we live, uh, so this is the area with the paspalum grass and the curvilinear running track. As we live in a hot Mediterranean climate, we had to create some shaded areas, both with using olive trees, evergreen olive trees, or shading structures so that people can sit underneath. We tried to avoid and have a limited use of hardscape areas. So the running track is made of a stabilized ceramic ground that can actually absorb water. The whole green roof built up underneath um, can uh, drain the whole area simultaneously. Uh, in order to provide a diverse planting that echoes the values of the Mediterranean maquis landscape, we have used, as I previously mentioned, lavender species, such as Lavandula dentata, uh, Lavandula gustifolia, and Stoechas. Artemisia, different uh, kinds of Artemisia, Absinthium, Ludovitiana, and different kinds of oregano, Oregano miracleoticum, vulgare, dictamus, and others. We have also used some salvias. Here you, ha you see the planting uh, design and the planting, the species that we have used. Uh, we have also used some salvias, fruticosa officinalis and hamedrioides, in order to achieve low maintenance and low irrigation needs. The um, whole uh, green, green roof area built up use um, a system that has um, good drainage, but also provides and collects water for the plants in order to minimize irrigation needs. And uh, we have two different types. We have about 20 centimeters of planting substrate for the aromatic plants, and about 15 centimeters of planting substrate for the grass areas. As I mentioned earlier, the whole surface is drained with a unified system so that we will not have pool effect or um, water accumulation. The green uh, roof irrigation water is collected in uh, special tanks and used, reused again for irrigation. We believe uh, that since is, this is the first uh, green building in Greece that achieved gold lead status, that this building sets high standards that we have to meet for energy efficient buildings and uh, sustainable landscapes that work together and not separately. Uh, the photos demonstrate the plants that I mentioned earlier in different seasons. These are some um, construction details that show how the drainage and the green roof built up were together. We worked also in an effort not to damage the waterproofing, so everything was built on top of the waterproofing and on top of the drainage elements. And then, then you see some construction details, both for the handrail as well as for the uh, water collection points. 
And these are photographs from the construction. So um, you can see photos how the waterproofing is made, uh, the different elements of the green roof built up are put together, um, irrigation lines, and finally planting. So we, we want to believe and we hope that we achieved our goal and that actually the users of the building are enjoying um, another 4,000 square meters of landscape. And we hope we have more of this project in the future. Thank you very much.